might need an umbrella today. How about an umbrella like this? But these do more than keep off the rain or keep the sun rays away from your face. Uh, these are part of the Umbrella Project in Door County and here to tell us all about it. We have Susan Reinfeldt. Hi. Uh, from Linger Coffee House in Fish yes. Creek. Mm -hmm. And Rick Bronner, he is an artist up in Door County. He did one of these umbrellas and we're going to see his work of art coming up in just a second. But Susan, yes. welcome to the weather deck. Thank you. <laughs> At least the rain is holding off right, right now. We could duck under one of these umbrellas. What are they all about? What is the Umbrella Project? The Umbrella Project was a way just to provide um, some help to local charities in the Door County area. And uh, we just found five local artists to paint, hand paint, seven foot canvas umbrellas and then a portion of the sale of the umbrella goes to five different charities and it was a way for Linger Coffee House and these artists to give back to the community that's been so good to them. So. It's so cool. So are they up at the shop? I, th I believe we have yes. video yes. Um, from Door County. Mm -hmm. It must be beautiful to see it them is. all up there. Yeah, pops of color everywhere and people coming up and enjoying, you know, drinks underneath the pretty umbrellas. So it's been nice. And how does it work? How do these umbrellas help out the charities? Well, we're doing a silent auction from now till July 6th and people can bid on the, the umbrellas and then on July 6th we'll announce the winner and they can bid by coming into Linger Coffee House, they can go on our Facebook page, they can go on our website um, and they can call the shop and we'll take their silent bid and just keep track of them and then the money will go to these charities. So go, so go to Linger Coffee House, have a cup of coffee, sure. sit under one of these and think about which one you want. Right. This one is something special. The middle school yes. students did this one? Yes, they did. Uh, Gibraltar middle school students got together. They had two weeks to complete it, um, plus all their other classes. Many students stayed over afterwards, but um, they put this together, designed it themselves, picked out their themes. So. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Very bright. And then yep. Rick's over here is a little bit different. This is a beautiful work of art. Rick, tell us about your umbrella. This umbrella was, so it was the, the, the idea or the theme is, is a day at the beach. And it's inspired by American painter John Singer Sargent. It's a lot of his characters in here. And it's made it a diorama. It's also painted with acrylic. So it's very durable and covered with two coats of acrylic gel. So it'll last the rain. It's very pliable. And as far as putting it up and down, works real easy. Awesome. And I love that it just keeps going and going and going, the, the full um, perimeter of the umbrella. Have you ever done worked on something like this before? Well, I've never worked on an umbrella before, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> I love it, though. What did you think of the experience? That was wonderful. We had a great time doing it, and we're glad we can do something for the community. It's very cool. We do have some pictures, too. I know of you in the process of, of working on the umbrella. How long did it... Oh, there's the middle school students right there or working on theirs. How long did it take you to do this? Uh, probably each panel. There's eight panels. We probably got about three hours per panel. Wow. Wow, there's another one, beautiful, and there's the, the final picture we have for you. So there's just a little taste of the Umbrella Project, but you'll want to head up to Fish Creek uh, to check it out. You can also go to our website, fox11online.com, click on Good Day Wisconsin for more information. Susan, yes. Rick, thank you so much. Thank you. The, the thank you. umbrellas are beautiful and for a good cause. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.